in this video i'm going to give my thoughts on perez the build i used whether or not he's worth the coins or if you should just save them for eFootball 25 and i'm also going to give my thoughts on all of the other player of the week cards that are in the pack and if that should help determine if you spin or not so starting off with Perez, his biggest strength is definitely his dribbling. If you take a look at his card though, he actually doesn't really have high dribbling stats. He only has on my build anyway, 85 tie possession, 90 ball control and 91 dribbling, which really isn't high. But when it gets into game, he definitely plays above his stats in regards to dribbling. And I actually use the old legend version of Perez. We got him in the eFootball point store over a year ago. His contract expired for me. But uh, yeah, he also played above his stats. Like, look at this touch here. He just takes an extra little flick with the kind of sole of his foot there. And it helps him get by the opponent. Like, I didn't tell him to take that touch. I didn't put anything into my controller. He automatically done that. And that's a very rare thing for a player to do. I find that uh, usually only players... Or players only usually do those kind of extra automatic touches if you have a 101 dribbling or 100 dribbling they kind of activate more and Perez, even with the lower dribbling stats already does that as well so here is the build that i used you can see obviously i have the 90 ball control 91 dribbling and 85 tie position as i mentioned previously interestingly enough i gave him low passing high finishing high acceleration and high balance his 92 speed uh, would be fast in theory a lot of my other players would only have about that speed like Yamal has 93 speed and Romario has 90 and both of those guys feel faster than Perez if we look at the dribbling stats uh, Romario has the same dribbling and Yamal has 96 dribbling so I think what the difference is between them it, that Romario while well, he does have the same dribbling and lower speed he has more balance and then Yamal has uh, basically the same balance as 88 uh, so the form on Perez would bring him up to 90, but he has 96 dribbling stat. So that's why those two feel faster, in my opinion. Whereas this Perez, while I wouldn't say he was extremely slow, pace was definitely not a part of his game. And if I had to redo his build, I would actually probably go for lower kicking power. Or sorry, lower, lower body strength. The reason I had it at this level was for the kicking power. I always kind of knew his speed wasn't going to be a strength. But um, I went for the kicking power, but I don't think it was that necessary uh, to have the kick and power that high i don't think if you went down to 80 on the kick and power it would be much worse but the finishing was good he, he finished most of his chances there was a couple that he kind of hit wide or um you know were the two effective one of the one, few of the ones that he hit wide were because he doesn't have acrobatic finishing so the skills i have him on him are flip flap track back uh, i got those two randomly i didn't put them on the card uh, i wouldn't really recommend track back at first i did put track back or i put it on him randomly got it and i'm actually kind of glad i kept it because he is a kind of physical type of player not in terms of his stats but just the way his build is so he actually does win the ball quite often for me um now if you wanted to make him so th essentially this this build here he's a creative playmaker but the stats or the way i've built him would be like if he was a creative playmaker and he was fine, but I do think you should play him like a creative playmaker. So if I had to do a build again, I would probably go down to like 85 finishing and lower speed and get the passing up and try to get 285 passing and get the boost that way. So here's the progression points. 10 shooting, 7 dribbling, 11 dexterity and 8 lower body strength. So if you took a few points off shooting, you would free up a lot of points and you could put them into passing. So in the terms of the skills, I'm going to go what with from here. I'm going to go for soul control to help finish the level three double touch acrobatic finishing and then either a marseille turn or a cut behind turn maybe even both Um, i don't recommend fully the five that i'm gonna go for i do have a training guide up for perez as well you may you maybe have already watched that so if you want the further kind of skills talk check out that video and then i also have two other builds in that video but back to the clips so the players that i thought that were good out of this pack were pedro poro kulisevsky Rodrigo, Pau Torres and Bremer and then the goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez. So Pedro Porro is like not a remarkable fullback other than his high lofted pass. It was 89. He hit in a few good crosses. Then if we go on to Pau Torres, he was just winning the ball very often as well as Bremer. Uh, Bremer I wasn't like too amazed by but Pau Torres was good on the ball and then you're seeing here Martinez the goalkeeper. He was quite effective. I don't think um, he is better than like Donnarumma or Courtois for GP. But he did uh, make a lot of saves, although he does have low catching, and I did notice that a few times. So the only player in the pack that I didn't use was Ollie Watkins. Uh, I don't think his stats are anything interesting. So I did try all the other ones, like Robertson, uh, Oyazabal, and Rodrigo. I didn't, and Bernardo Silva, actually. So let's talk about Bernardo Silva. He has really good stats, but he is a box-to-box, -box, which he usually isn't. 
um, and he doesn't have interception or track back, which I think was a big factor in why I didn't like him. Um, his passing was bad for me, but I do think it was only, you know, we have a small sample size. So I only used him for a couple of games. Passing is something that's kind of outside of your control a lot of the time, the accuracy and the success of the passes. So I would put it down to having a low sample size. Something like dribbling, he can tell straight away if it's good or not. He doesn't have to get lucky with the game. Uh, his dribbling was fine. We definitely did need the other skills. Robertson, as a fullback finisher, his car just doesn't suit it. So uh, I don't think that was good. And then Oyazabal probably just didn't give him enough time. I was bringing him off the bench because he has super sub. And then Rodrigo is very good. The only reason I didn't kind of include him in that initial list is because his other player of the week versions are a lot better. This one is a deep line forward, which most people won't like. I like that a lot. But the problem with Rodrigo was I felt like running in a straight line, you know, when you're in behind the defense, sometimes he was getting caught too easily. So I do think the other ones are a lot better. So in order to determine if this pack is worth opening, the major downsides of Perez were his lack of speed, his lack of kicking power, his inability to play in the middle. You have to get position trainers to play him as an AMF or a second striker. And I do think he'd be best as a second striker because of his very high offensive awareness and the creative playmaker uh, play style. So those are the major downsides. The major upsides are his dribbling is just a lot better than his stats suggest. Same with his passing and his finishing is in line with what his stats would suggest. And also just that little clip there. I know he didn't score the header, but he is kind of physical. But here's an example of him being not fast enough. Like I do a good dummy against my opponent and I still can't get onto the end of the ball. I also failed to score a single uh, knock on finesse, probably the lower kick on power. I did talk about that in my attackers video. I think that finesse shots, I seem to think are more based on your player's kick on power rather than their curl. So imagine you have 1,000 coins. What should you do with them? I definitely would recommend avoiding this player of the week pack. I don't think it's anything special. I think a lot of the players are very mid. You also have on offer the national packs. Now they've been released for a while now. If you had 1,000 coins, I do think the England pack is definitely the best value for money. That Bellingham is insane. And also Gareth Southgate, you get a manager who's strongly proficient in quick counter and long ball counter. You could also start saving up for a Messi or Griezmann I don't really think Griezmann is anything uh, out of this world especially if you're a free-to-play player I think he's more of a substitute that is very well rounded and you bring him on to play a variety of positions so if you wanted to spend like most of your coins at the moment I'd be going for this Messi and then he is probably one of the better players in the game I have the World Cup Messi so it's basically the same card it's just my one has more physical contact but I don't think that is uh, majorly important you can also buy these managers here. I've done a video on why I bought Stojkovic and De La Fuente. So if you're still choosing between these two, watch that and I'll let you know my thoughts. But overall, if I had uh, a few coins saved up and I was a free-to-play player at the moment, I would just wait for eFootball25. We're going to get a new Ambassador Messi, just kind of probably the same level as this one or even better it, pr it really couldn't be worse when this Messi came out at the start of the game he was really good he was as good as the big times that were out at the time now the only caveat to that is if you're on playstation you can't use your coins to buy this Messi. if you're on xbox pc and mobile i'm pretty sure all of them platforms you can buy this ambassador Messi with coins in there so if you're on playstation saving up your coins free football 25 probably isn't going to get you too much but if you're on the other platforms, you can save up your coins and then wait for whatever Ambassador Messi comes out at the start of Eve Wall 25.